823K. The judges ordered Dame Dash to sell his remaining stake in Rockefeller so he can pay back this 823K. Some people say this is his own self-inflicted wound to himself. Uh, how this whole problem started with Dame Dash, at least this problem right here, started with Dame Dash is because him and a person decided that they were going to do a movie together. Uh, things went apart. I think everything fall apart. So Dame Dash decided that he uh, is going to shop the movie around himself, change the name, and going to shop the movie around as for himself. That person decided that he's going to sue Dame Dash. That person sued Dame Dash and won. Uh, was was awarded 823k. Uh, now Dame Dash has to sell his remaining stakes. You know, he's always saying he doesn't have any money when it comes to court time. He doesn't have any money. He doesn't have this. But then when you see him on podcast, he's doing this big boss, this big ball of talk as if, you know, the money is there. Uh, there's some type of money there. He, You know, at times he do tell you that there's not, you know, he doesn't have this and he doesn't have that. He put all his money into this company and that company and this company, which is understandable. But he does a lot of big boss talk, which is confusing to a lot of people by telling people that everybody, uh, if you are not a boss, then you're basically a nobody. And we know in life, everybody can't be a boss. No matter how much we push forward, uh, no matter how much we push hard, they can't be a boss. Um, there's always boss and workers. Some people are workers. Some people are bosses. Dame Dash is at a point right now where he still has some of the culture who has his back. Um, he has lost some of the culture between uh, for the things that him and Jay-Z has been going through. And uh, he's lost a lot of friends in the industry. Uh, I've noticed that him and Biggs takes uh, shots at each other. <laughs> Uh, if you pay attention to them on social media, they take shots at each other. He'll call Biggs out. Big never mentioned him, really. Biggs just, you know, use words. You know, he coded his words and put them out. But if you read between the lines, you realize he's talking about Dame. Uh, Dame should realize that at least I think Rockefeller is worth, at least a stake should be worth more than a million dollars. I mean, in my opinion, or in my head at least, depending on how much stake, I know how much of the stakes that he has, how um, much shares that he has, I mean, um, I'm thinking that it, it should be roughly a couple of million dollars. So if he does sell that stake, um, those those um, stakes in the shares, um, he should be able to get some money to then pay this guy and probably have some left over to do other business ventures. Uh, a lot of Dame Dash business ventures don't work out. If y'all pay been paying attention to them, uh, the, they a lot of them fail. A lot of them work. A lot of them also fail. So Dame Dash run around as the ultimate businessman, as the ultimate boss of business. And as of right now, he has nothing to show for that other than losing business, bankruptcies, uh, being sued by multiple different people and being put in situations where he's owing people money. Uh, child support. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with Dame. <laughs> you know, Dame has a lot of stuff going on. I mean, we can we can do a list of Dame uh, of stuff with Dame Dash. But I feel like the problem with Dame is is that Dame doesn't understand that um, there's no ultimate or permanent uh, enemies in business, and Dame has made one of his friends a permanent enemy. Or maybe two of his friends. I mean, he's uh, Biggs and Jay Z. By going at these guys, by saying stuff about them, by talking derogatory about them on interviews and on press, on social media, of course, it get back to these guys. So, I think Dame had an opportunity a while back, and he chose not to to mend the relationship with Hove. You saw them take pictures. You saw his kids was around Hove. It was a concert that he went, and we thought that you know. This is a, a, a breaking step to move forward. And I guess it didn't go that way as we planned. So Dame started taking shots at Hove again. And there's times when Dame talked that I realized that he, he does think of Hove as his brother, but he's angry. So he says a lot of crazy stuff about Jay at times. And to me, as a person, if I'm going through that with somebody, that's unforgivable for me. You know, there comes the point where you can say so much about me and that I can't. I can't let you back in arm's reach anymore. Cause now, you know, that's, that's an issue for me. 
if, if we're not on good terms, this is how you're going to talk about me. You're going to put me out there as as a predator, as a, a you know, as a thief. Oh, you know, it, it, all kind of accusations when you listen to it. So Dame is now in a, a peculiar position to not only probably lose everything that he has right now, but to probably um, get Jay and Biggs back there, the part of uh, Rockefeller they wanted. Because I know they tried to buy some of this stuff from him before. I know there was rumored that they tried to buy a catalog from him, the, the, the Reasonable Doubt catalog. And I guess they wanted to see if they could buy, at least Jay wanted to see if he can buy the shares of Rockefeller from Dame and Dame hold out, which, you know, as, as a business partner, as a part of the business, he has all right to hold out if he choose to. But I think now that he's forced to make a move on it, this could lose, they could lose it to somebody or this could be Jay-Z and uh, Big sweeping down to come and pick up the scratch that left off and they'll probably end up getting the shares of the company that they wanted. Uh, but who knows? We'll see how that turns out. But um, Dame Dash is <laughs> is a guy that is kind of enigma in the black community right now because you want to praise him at times for some of the work that he has done, but you realize that he doesn't he didn't do that work by himself. And now that those people are not around him, uh, he hasn't showed us anything of um, success for us to praise him for. So we don't know if he's. Uh, the talented businessman, as he said he is, without a talent behind him, such as a Jay-Z. Y'all yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Dame Dash is about to lose his shares, lose his stakes. He's being forced to sell his shares of Rockefeller to pay his debts. I'm out.